to tend to my new garden. A little lower, to the right. We'll have fresh vegetables all year. My, I'm going to save so much money. Oh, Grimmy, you better not have been digging in my garden. The pig told you, didn't he? Grimmy, you've got my vegetables all over the place. Do you know what this calls for? I was thinking of French dressing. Oh, how about ranch? Grimmy. Maybe some vinegar and oil? Grimmy. There's nothing better than a nice, freshly tossed garden. Maybe I could throw some croutons around. Grimmy. Grimmy, I was standing on that garden to supply us with vegetables for the whole year. And you're going to replace it all, no matter how much it costs. Cost? As in cost money? Let me go check my assets. Okay. Now, if I could just find another dime somewhere, I'd have... Ten cents. You have to find some way to make up the cost. You mean... Uh, a job? A job. Aren't you being a little rough on Grimmy? No. It's time he learned a lesson. Do you know what happens to folks who don't know the value of money? Do you run for Congress? Besides that. A job. Where am I going to get a job? Oh, boy. Whoever lives in this place sure doesn't have to worry about finding a job. I wonder who does live here. Old King Cole. Oh, that's the merry old soul. Oh, boy, if I had his money, I'd be merry, too. Where am I going to get a job? No, but seriously, King, I mean, I wouldn't say Jack Pratt's wife is fat, but she's got her very own ozone layer. <laughs> hey, 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 and how about this uh, rub-it-up-dub three men in a tub business, huh? I mean, I heard there was a water shortage, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yes, that was funny. When I finish slicing these onions into his bowl, you'll see how many laughs he gets. Oh, but I, uh, I get the seven doors, you know, Kingo? <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Before you go out, I want to call for my pipe. Oh, oh, wait! I gave that up! <laughs> then I'll call for my bowl. Hey, bowl! Bowl, bowl, bowl! <laughs> your bowl, your highness. Oh, great, great bowl. Standing by. Oh, continue, Jackie. Hey, Kingo. You know, I went out with Mary again last night. Mary had a little lamb. I had a corned beef on rye with a side of slaw. <laughs> hey, what do you get uh, when you cross a pocket full of rye and a yuppie? Uh, you get four and twenty blackbird baked in a croissant. <laughs> you are the most unfunchy gesture in the world. You are fired. Fired? Wait, 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 wait. You're kingly. This, this is my aim. Material here. You're displeasing, His Majesty. Hold on here. Unhand the outfit, my man. Yeah, well, I've been thrown out of better places than this, pal. Someday you'll come crawling to book me again. You'll see. Now, ah, shut up. Employment office. Yeah, just come in and we'll try to find a job for you. Now then, you need a job? What kind of work do you have experience in? Do you have any openings for fetching the stick? Fetching the stick, uh-huh, fetching the stick. No. Ah, here's an opening for an airline navigator. Do you have papers? All over the house. Uh, what was your last position? I think it was this. Hey, you have a job. Ow, ow, ow. You do not find jobs, Fedora. Don't think of me as a dog. Think of me as a four-legged office pimp. Oh, it's no use. I'll never find a job. Maybe there is something wrong with my act. <laughs> Maybe I need to try something different. Hey, why not a dog act? Yo, Boots! You a dress I? Yeah, uh, the name's Jester. Jack E. Jester. Uh, you got any talent, like, for show business? Talent? You want to know if I have any talents? <laughs> Watch this, fella. <laughs> oh, alas, poor Fatima. I knew him well. Hit me up, hit me up. Oh, geez, Dodo. I don't think we're in business anymore. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you had any talents. Well, hey, uh, everybody's got to start someplace. Uh, so what do you say? You and me, teaming up. What do you think, huh? Teaming up? You mean us? You and me together in showbiz? Showbiz. Oh, oh, this is that off angry world of tinsel and glamour and bright lights and more tinsel. Fabulous babes. <laughs> so 
Christmas, where the streets are paved with dreams, and the oceans are filled with hope. Maybe, maybe I could even have my own Saturday morning cartoon show. Will you do it? Let me think it over. Okay, I thought it over. My answer is yes! Oh, just think. Our names in life. Grimmy and Jester. Jester and Grimmy. Grimmy and Jester. Jester and Grimmy. Grimmy and Jester. Right. Jester and Grimmy. No, that's what I said. Grimmy and Jester. Grimmy! Oh, Grimmy! Are you worried about him, Ma? Oh, yes. I have this strange feeling, McKenna. That, that Grimmy's in terrible danger. Like he's being sucked by Dracula? Where? I have this horrible feeling that Grimmy's in love. Show business. <laughs> Go find him, McKenna, honey. He's been gone for three days now. Him with us? No, him cannot have his goldfish. Go find Grimmy and bring him home. Check. I never should have sent him out to get a job just because he ruined my vegetable garden. Grimmy could be anywhere by now. Well, almost anywhere. At least I know he wouldn't be at a talent agent's office like that yellow dog in there. Man, there's nothing funnier than the team of Jester and Grimmy. Grimmy and Jester. Jester and Grimmy. I said you're not funny. I know funny, and you're not it. Not funny, huh? Suppose I do the bit where I hit the dog and the kisser with the lemon meringue pie, huh? Now, you gonna tell me that's not funny? That's not funny. Okay, okay. S suppose I spray the dog with the old seltzer water routine. Now, you gonna tell me that's not funny? That's not funny. Okay. Okay, suppose I dress the dog up as a little girl, and then I dump like a whole bucket of mud on him. Now, you trying to tell me that that's not funny? That's not funny. All right, all right. Suppose I undo the rope and drop the player piano on the pooch. Now, you gonna tell me that is not funny? That's not funny. How about if I have the United States Marine Corps Band march across the mutt playing Lady of Spain, I Adore You, while wild pumas... I can't take any more of this! No more pianos, no pies, no Marine Corps Band, and especially no Lady of Spain, I Adore You! This is our 28th audition, and I can't stand it any longer! Do you hear me? I can't stand it any longer! Now that's funny. You can quit this job and come back to the shoe with Mother Goose and me. What? And give up show business? Sorry, I only have one booking open for a jester. I'll take it. For the big party King Cole is throwing tonight. Forget it. Old Crownhead's throwing a party tonight. I was supposed to be the entertainment. I wonder who will get instead. You want to go see? Yeah, yeah. Let's see who they could get that would be funnier than the team of Jester and Grimmy. Grimmy and Jester. Jester and Grimmy. Grimmy and Jester. Grimmy? Now that I've gotten rid of that jester, I can fulfill my dream to be a stand-up comedian. Oh, God. Keep it down, guys. Keep it down, guys. I think I hear someone rehearsing jokes and bad jokes. But she does have her very own ozone layer. <laughs> Man, this is worse than I thought. Not only are they bad jokes, but they're my bad jokes. Hey, this cat's stealing my material, man. I've seen better delivery from the post office. Well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, if I could just get in to see this guy. That shouldn't be too hard. I can call the police. Have you tossed in jail for trespassing? Remember, whenever I mention a meat, you guys laugh your heads off. Meat? However, I shall refrain from pressing charges if you let me have all of your jokes. Jokes? Uh, sure, sure. Help yourself, fella. I mean, uh, comedians don't tell jokes anymore. What do you mean, comedians don't tell jokes? Well, it's like jokes are out, my man. Meat, meat is in. You understand me? Meat? Sure. Audiences are sick of jokes. They want to hear you talk about meat, man, like, uh, like sirloin steak. <laughs> or, uh, like this, baby, uh, lamb chop. <laughs> And yeah, here's one of my favorites, man. Did I tell you about the time I saw the rib roast? <laughs> Do you mean you just mention a meat like, say, cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, wait. I didn't know you were a professional, man. Meat jokes. Hmm. Well, I'll give him a performance he'll never forget. 
<laughs> right. Well, I told you to hire a comedian to detain my guests. But I am a comedian, sire. Just give me a chance. You'll see. I'll slay them. That's what St. George said when I set him out to become a dragon's hors d'oeuvre. Oh, but I guess I don't have any choice. I promised you an entertainment, and here it is. The comedy stylings of Lord Percival Gecko the Third. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, a funny thing happened to me on my way to the Rump Roast. <laughs> no, no, no. But seriously, sir, I know beef. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I just want to tell you, Poulterhouse Deep. <laughs> Now that's funny. Where are we going to find a real comedian at this hour? Yo, uh, Majesty. So much money, Uncle Scrooge asked him for a spare change. <laughs> 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 